Apparently there are teenagers that start binge drinking before they turn 16. I guess that makes me the nerd who never got invited to parties. <laughs> Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for D News. By the stats, most teenagers have tried alcohol by the time they turn 16. Of those teens, most go on to have a healthy, moderate relationship with alcohol as adults, but others, not so much. Amongst high schoolers, about a quarter report binge drinking, which means having four or more drinks in a row. In a new study published in the journal Nature, neurologists have managed to find a way to predict which 14-year-olds will become binge drinkers by the time they're 16, with 70% Accuracy, that's pretty darn accurate for something that appears on its surface to be a random chance or personal choice. With every new study we're starting to see, risky behaviors like binge drinking comes down to a few key factors. This study lasted a few years and it was the largest of its kind. It involved scanning the brains of over 700 14-year-olds. They monitored 40 variables including brain function, personality traits, IQ, life experiences, and of course, drinking habits. When they followed up two years later, there were a few striking, but perhaps not so surprising, findings. First, there was a strong correlation between binge drinking and personality types. Specifically, thrill seekers are much more likely to binge drink. Teenagers whose family have a history of drug abuse were predictably higher risk. They also found a huge spike in binge drinking happened amongst those that had so much as tried alcohol when they were 14. Possibly because having a drink at 14 is more common amongst risk-taking types. And scientists also found something very interesting in the participants' brain structures. Those who were binge drinkers had a less developed prefrontal cortex, which is the area commonly connected with teenage recklessness and making bad decisions. It's the part of the brain that helps adults understand and weigh the consequences of their actions, and it's the last part of the brain to mature. They also found that the binge drinkers have bigger brains. As the brain matures throughout your teen years, it's actually normal for the brain to get slightly smaller as it rewires to be more efficient. So the teenagers with larger and less mature brains were more likely to binge. So the takeaway here, there's an increasingly predictable way of social and genetic factors that we need to look at when we're trying to prevent things like drug addiction and alcoholism later in life. It's not just a matter of, hey, you darn kids, stop doing this bad thing. It's looking more and more like addictive behavior is something that people are disposed to and actually need a little bit more help with. Thanks for joining me for D News, everyone. How old were you when you had your first drink? Let me know down below. And if you haven't checked it out yet, be sure to subscribe to Test Tube, a new sister show of D News. It covers world events and other trending topics. And don't forget to subscribe here for more science news every day of the week. We'll see you next time.